Hi everyone. My name is Ashish. I'm a junior doctor working in the UK. Welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I'll talk about internal medicine training. And this video is going to be very useful for doctors who want to train in medicine in the UK. If you support my work on YouTube, you can do so by clicking on the like button, sharing this video with your friends and clicking on the subscribe button. So let's start this video. So what is IMT? IMT is internal medicine training and it is the first stage of specialty training for most doctors training in medicine based specialties. It aims to prepare trainees for participating in acute medical take at senior level and managing patients with acute and chronic medical problems in outpatient and inpatient settings. And this is similar to pursuing MD in India. What is the duration of IMT in the UK? So duration of IMT depends on what type of specialty you want to further train in. There are two types of specialties. One comes under group one specialties and the other are group two specialties. So the group one specialties are acute hospital care based specialties and you need three years of IMT for further training into these. And these include acute internal medicine, cardiology, clinical pharmacology and therapeutics, endocrinology, gastro, genital urinary medicine, geriatric medicine, infectious disease, except when you are training with medical microbiology or virology, neurology, palliative medicine, renal medicine, respiratory medicine, rheumatology and tropical medicine, except when you are dual training with medical microbiology or virology. Group 2 specialties are non-acute, primarily outpatient based specialties and you need two years of IMT for further training into these. These include allergy, audio vestibular medicine, aviation and space medicine, clinical genetics, clinical neurophysiology, dermatology, hematology, infectious disease when dual with medical microbiology or virology, medical oncology, medical ophthalmology, nuclear medicine, pharmaceutical medicine, rehab medicine, pediatric cardiology, rheumatology and tropical medicine when dual with medical microbiology or virology, sports and exercise medicine, chemical pathology, clinical oncology, medical microbiology, virology and occupational medicine. All these are group two specialties. Let's talk about what all you need for your application into IMT. The first one is your MBBS qualification. The second one is evidence to show that you're currently employed in a foundation program in the UK. If you're not, then you need 12 months of medical experience after getting full GMC registration and you need evidence to commence specialty training by getting the CREST 2021 form signed. It is advisable to work in a non-training medical job in the NHS before going for a training post as it helps you to get better customized to the new system in the UK. Where to apply? Oriel is the place to apply for all kind of training posts. When to apply in 2021? So there are two rounds of application usually. Round one opens up in November and the application window closes in December. And then there is round two. Now, Due to the current COVID-19 pandemic, it is currently being determined whether round two will go on ahead or not. So if you want to be considered for IMT for 2021, you are advised to apply in round one as it's not guaranteed uh, whether round two will will go ahead or not. Let's talk about overview of the medical training in the UK. So how can a new doctor who has done his undergraduate training in some other country apart from the UK can come here and train to become a medical consultant in the UK? So first of all, pass PLABS during your internship in your home country and that's the best time to appear for PLABS. This will register you as a doctor who can practice in the UK. The next step is to work in a non-training post in internal medicine or its related specialties. After that, get a CREST 2021 form signed by the consultant 
with you whom you have worked for a minimum of three months. The next step is to apply for internal medicine training through ODL, and this is similar to pursuing MD in India. And there will be an interview for this post. And after you're successful in this interview, you'll get into an IMT post, which will be of two to three years of duration. The next step is to pass all the parts of MRCP, which includes part one, two, and paces. And these can be done previously as well before step four. The next step is to apply for specialty training after you've had your internal medicine training and you have passed MRCP. And this will be through an interview. This is similar to pursuing DM in India and the length of specialty training is variable and can be from three years to six years. When you have finished your specialty training, then this will lead to CCT or certificate of completion of training and then you'll be eligible to apply for a considered post. I have received a few questions that can a person do IMT and then go back to their country and do specialty training there, which is do DM back there? And the answer to this is no. So you need to get full CCT before you can become a consultant back in your home country. I hope you like this video. If you have any further queries, you can comment in the comment section in this video, or you can text me on Instagram and I'll try to answer all your questions there. Thank you very much for, for watching this video.